Today's a day of remembrance. We lost a lot of wonderful people. First responders, firemen, policemen, citizens of our country. Very, very difficult day for a lot of people. 19 years ago, we lost some wonderful Cornelians. All told, I think it's about 23 Cornelians lost their lives. Two that were very close to me. One was Mike Tanner, who was a quarterback on the football team. Mike died, grew up in Connecticut, a remarkable young man. And then Amy McEnany, who grew up in Long Island, played football and lacrosse here at Cornell, was uh, an All-American lacrosse player for three years because freshmen were not eligible when he was here. Uh, remarkable athlete, remarkable person, both on and off the field. He was always willing to help his classmates, his teammates, and people out in the world. Uh, he was an executive with Canada Fitzgerald and used to take some of the new people over to Ireland to play golf so he could get to know them. And uh, he was a history type of individual. Irish history, United States history, and things dealing with uh, a wonderful country. Uh, as I stay in this end zone, I remember the day he caught a pass that helped beat Dartmouth. And as he caught the ball, Unfortunately, I had a couple of teeth knocked out. And uh, I remember seeing him after the game, he said, I can't go around with no teeth because he had lost some in high school. So I took him to Dr. Sylvan, Joe Sylvan, a dentist in town. And he made a wonderful play for Eamon. And Eamon looked like uh, Robert Redford. So uh, his smile came back. His attitude came back, and he continued to be an outstanding player. We lost the semifinals uh, to Navy. Uh, we were scheduling in my part. We should have played the game at 4 o'clock in the afternoon because our players had exams that morning. And uh, we just didn't get it all together. So we lost that. Coming off the field, Layman came up to me, put his arm around me. He said, Coach, while I'm here, we're never going to lose another game. And that resonated with me. Three years later, we won 42 straight games and two national championships with Eamon. So he was a believer, probably the most fierce competitor uh, I've ever worked with. This booklet is put together for the Cornell players to read. It's a chapter out of my book. It's great to be here. It's chapter nine, and it's about 14 pages about him and his accomplishments and some of the hardships that he had. And I think it's a great example for our players to be able to read this. 19 years ago, none of our freshmen that are here now were born. So I think this is going to give them an opportunity to see what a young man who wore the same colors that they're going to be wearing, played on the same field that they're going to be on, went to the same classrooms that they're going to go to, and had the great love for Cornell. His teammates call me every 9-11. It's really difficult because we have such great memories. And to lose somebody like Eamon uh, was extremely tragic. His wife Bonnie is remarkable. His, three, his four children, very special people. So God bless him, God bless his family, God bless Cornell.